Hi, it's Darlene from Scrappin', Stampin', and Inkin' by Dardeen. Today, I would like to share with you my version of Tamara's three-page vintage Halloween mini album tutorial. My album measures six and a half by eight and a half, and it has a two and one quarter inch spine. I created this album using several sheets of Halloween designer cardstock from Authentique, Simple Stories, and Echo Park. I chose only the prints that I like that contain the colors of orange and black. The color that I used to cover my album and for my pages was the black artisan cardstock. I also used the cream colored artisan cardstock and the orange that I chose to use was a pumpkin color from Stamping Up. I titled my album Happy Halloween and I found that title in the chipboard pieces from Simple Stories. I really wanted my album to have a wider spine and the little story I have about that is I was working on three different albums I had my chipboard cut for my covers and when I put this cover together for this Halloween album I picked up the wrong spine so it is kind of thick but I really feel that it will be okay. I put a hook and eye closure on it. And um, the pre three pages in here was rather very fascinating to make. It was the first time I've done a three page album like this. So I was glad that Tamara had done that tutorial. On the front of my cover, I used one of the pages from one of the uh, designer papers I had, and it had the word boo and Halloween, and it had a spider web on it. I used stickles on the spider web and on the word boo. I have um, a black heavy lace on here. I only had one little piece left and it was just enough to put on the front cover here in my stash and um, I chose to use that. I have this orange colored lace that I ended up gathering and gluing to make a little ruffled lace here on the side. I have some flat back black pearls and all of these roses that I have on here the gray the slate the white black and the orange with the white dots were in my stash I have no idea what where they came from I mean the company name this little skeleton I thought they were so cute I found them <clears throat> you have to forgive me I'm sorry I'm just getting over a head cold I found them at the Dollar Tree and I thought they were very cute so I did get those and the black that I have on here is creepy cloth and I have glue bed on there I have some um, little plastic bugs on here to give the appearance of it being a little bit spooky um, I did on all the front, back, and spine, and all my pages, I triple matted. I have the black, the orange, the cream, and my designer paper. On the spine here, there were two different punch, Martha Stewart punches that I used throughout my album. And this is one of them. It was the fence. And I have that on the back and throughout the album. And I also use this spider one. And I have that on the spine here. Now my spine, when I constructed 
this, I have a piece of the designer paper, it was orange with the off-white little polka dots in it, then I have a piece of orange, a piece of the cream colored cardstock, some very small black flat back pearls, and this bling, orange bling down the center, and I use the spider punch to make this black spiders here. On the back, and I like doing this to my albums. I've done this for the last hmm, couple years. I've added a back pocket and placed booklets that I've made in them. And this will hold three four by six photos. And I use the cut aparts from the paper packs that I had. And I just had this black and white gingham ribbon that I used to put with the closure. Let's open this up. In doing my Halloween albums, I don't like using green and purple. I don't know why. I just like the black, cream colored, and orange. So. I was able to find papers that I liked, like I said, through these three company paper companies, and I was very pleased with them. On my inside front cover, I do have a pocket. I, again, I use the Fent um, punch. I have two more booklets that I made for three four by six photos and they fit very nicely into the pocket. The next page here, I have a small pocket at the bottom, and I have three of the cutouts, and I back them with the off-white cardstock. And again, I use the fence punch. This has a side flap that opens up. You could do some journaling here or choose to put a photo. These I just left plain for photos. In Tamara's tutorial, she had this open where we could place something inside here. I glued mine shut because it was getting too thick because I hadn't made the mistake of picking up the wrong spine in creating this. This, you could do some writing here, and I left this all plain for photos. There are quite a few magnets in this album. This then will fold over like this. These are all plain. I did not choose to put anything on them because it was getting so thick, and I thought it was really a nice place for different photos for you. The next page here, I hope I can keep this in camera for you. I do have a pocket page where I did use the spider punch again. And I was very pro surprised how, and very pleased I should say, not surprised, please how well the papers that I had chosen worked out together. And then this all comes over and I have this here was the front page that I showed you. I have another pocket here with two more four by six photo mats. Some journaling could be on the front and the photos. Again, a bottom pocket with that scent punch. Here I have a double belly band with another booklet for three four by six photos. So as you can see just this very first page you could have quite a few photos in here. 
Then the next page here is a side pocket, and I do have some small three by four cut aparts that I have matted on the back, placed in here, folds over, and two photos can be placed here and some journaling here. Then this opens up like this. This was really fascinating to make. I loved it. And here I have a bottom pocket and again another four by six photo mat. And then on the back of all of this, we have a bottom pocket on this page with three photo mats in. Some ghost paper and then the ones that I've shown you here. And it's all folds up like this. This is the second page. The third page, I ended up putting some little pull pegs on. This one here, I did leave open at the top and I put in a photo mat. And it opens up. And you can see there can be many photos placed on here. Now this page that I have on the third page here, I have some <clears throat> pull tags and um, have this open. They are smaller. In the back page. This is really a large page. I don't know if I can get it all in there. It starts here, goes, has the two here that we open up, and then here, and then a piece of paper on there. Then on the back, we have this. See if I put this all in. It's a charming album. Lots of storage. Then on the very back of this, I did put a waterfall. And I used the 3x4 cutouts. And left them plain on the back for photos. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight on here. And again, the magnets. I have to say, I think I used two and a half packs of magnets in this album. And that because I really wanted this to close and I wanted whoever would purchase this would be able to know how the pages go. I thought that would help. But like I said, with choosing the papers with just the orange and the black and the cream colored, I think it came out rather very charming. And I hope you liked it. If you get a chance, please be able to uh, catch Tamara's three-page vintage uh, Halloween album. It um, was very fascinating to make because there were so many pages and flips and flops and all that. And um, I just wish I would have chosen the right spine for this. But I really feel that it will be okay. It is a heavy album. And like I said, I do choose because I like it to double and triple map my pages. It does use a two and three times the cardstock and that. But I like what it does to the appearance of the pages and the entire album. 
I want to thank you for letting me share my album with you. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And while you're there looking at the albums, if you're not subscribed to my channel, if you would like to do so, it would be very much appreciated. Thank you, and good night.